good morning my dear students today we are discussing about uh, one more topic in genetics that one is the genetic counseling so what is the genetic counseling and uh, the next one which type of steps are involved in here and what is the importance of the genetic counseling uh, what is the relationship between patient and doctor uh, about the genetic so now we discuss so genetic counseling uh, it is defined as the communication process involved in human problems associated with the occurrence and recurrence of the genetic disorders in the family so for example in a family uh, some members are suffered with the genetic problems so the genetic problems uh, came from before generations means one generation to another generation transfer of the same problems uh, like cancer uh, the next one uh, different different types of disorders so the different different types of disorders are transferred from one generation to another generation uh, is known as a genetic disorders so the uh, the genetic disorders uh, is discussed in them discussed in the genetic counseling so genetic counseling is a communication process simply it is a communication process so communication process involved in between of human problems associated with the occurrence and recurrence of the genetic disorders in the family what is occurrence disorders what is the recurrence disorders uh, occur in the family and this process involves some expertise the trained counselors guide individuals so for example in our family some members are suffered with the genetic problems so the genetic problems so total how many members are suffered with the same problems in one generation and second generation third generation fourth generation and what is the historical background of the patient and what is the symptoms of the disease so uh, these are all are studied with the uh, uh, with the experts so our counselor are good individuals our guide uh, guides are good uh, good individuals means doctors simply doctors so uh, is known as the genetic counseling so uh, our family is uh, compared with the medical facts and related to the diagnosis so simply after that so first of all gather the information from the uh, from the patient and as well as the before generations and then next one going to diagnosis and prognosis and management of the genetic disorders and role of the heredity such conditions and problems impact other membranes of the family and preventive measures and further uh, recurrence and the uh, disorders of the family so first of all discuss with the doctor so first of all identify the genetic disorder discuss with the doctor and the next one after that identify identify means diagnosis and prognosis management of the uh, genetic disorder and role of the heredity in such condition and the next one after that the, this one disorder is no chance to forward to next generations so that's one is a next generation in the family so choose that right course uh, action according to the ethical and moral uh, religious uh, ethical and moral religious uh, and adapt the best possible solution to the disorder in the affected individual family so the next one uh, the uh, for example uh, uh, in in our family three or four members suffered with the same types of disease and the next one this disease came from before generation and same disease is a far out to next generation so in that condition we are choose the way of good solution for the treatment of disease that one disease is not chance to far out to the um, next generations so that is called as a genetic counseling and the next one here structure of counseling uh, sessions what is the structure of the counseling so the goals of the genetic counseling are the increase the understanding the genetic diseases here what is the genetic disorder uh, diseases and disorders what is the diagnostic test and the how to prevent it so these are all are the first of all uh, understanding and discuss disease management options and explain the risk and benefits uh, testing and first of all in counseling session focus on goals focus on uh, uh, focus on given vital and uh, unbiased information and uh, non uh, directive assistance to the patient and discuss making process these are all are the occurring here so as per uh, simur kessler in uh, scientist simur kessler scientist in 1979 first categorized sessions are total five paces are involved in the genetic counseling so number one is the intake pace number two is the initial contact pace number 3 is the encounter pace and number 3 uh, number 4 is the summary pace and uh, follow up pace here number 3 and 4 summary and uh, follow up pace is uh, these two are the outside of the actual counseling session these two are the outside counseling session but actually only three phases are involved in there number 1 is the intake number 2 initial number 3 counter pace and as well as the follow up and as well as 
ಆಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಅಪ್ ಇಂಟ್ ಇಂಟೇಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಅಪ್ ಪೇಸಸ್ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಟೇಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಅಪ್ ಪೇಸಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆರ್ ದ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಆರ್ ದ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಪೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಪೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪೇ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಪೇಸ್ ದಿ ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಪೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವೆನ್ ದ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೀಟ್ ಟು ದ ಬಿಲ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ರಾಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿವೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಪೇಸ್ so that is the initial phase and the encounter phase includes the dialogue between the counselor and client about the nature of screening some tests means dialogue between the counselor and patients means so discussion with the uh, discussion with the counselor or discussion with the patient or client about the disease that is called as the encounter phase and third one phase is um, uh, provides uh, options on discuss available for the next step so the counselor it gives uh, several steps and several treatments so for the next step so if a counselor as uh, the god uh, go ahead the testing and appointed organization genetic counselor act to the person and communicable and uh, uh, finally produce the results so this one is known as a summary phase so total five phases are involved in there in five phases first phase and last phase these two are the um, out of the session and the remaining three one first one is a um, meeting point and second one is the discussion third one is the results or conclusion so this is about the structure of the counseling session and the next one what is the reasons for the optioning genetic counseling what is the reasons which type of reasons are occur in the uh, genetic counseling so families and individual may choose attend the counseling for number of reasons so number of reasons are involved in there what are there first of all family history of genetic condition or chromosomal abnormality any chromosomal abnormalities are presented in the body or any family history suffered with the same types of diseases at that moment we are choose the uh, genetic counseling. counseling and molecular test for the single gene disorder single gene disorder purpose and increase the maternal age means mother age is above 35 years at that moment there is no chance for the uh, formation of the pregnancy and at that moment we are choose the genetic counseling and increase the paternal age means um, uh, parent uh, pa- parents age above 40 years at that moment also we are choose the um, uh, choose the genetic counseling in this con- in this two, uh, two conditions especially uh, especially uh, there is no chance for the formation of the pregnant pregnancy that's why we are choose the genetical counseling and the next one abnormal maternal serum screening results and ultrasound findings so maternal screening uh, serums means here any abnormal conditions in the mother womb any abnormal conditions in the mother mother is already suffered with the any genetical uh, disorders or occur in the body that's one is a uh, uh, at that moment and ultrasound finding condition there is no chance for the any uh, abnormalities are produces so at that moment also we are choose the uh, genetic counseling and the next one increase the uh, new uh, nuclear translancy measurements and ultrasound nuclear translancy we are already discuss about the nuclear translancy in before chapter and uh, strong family history of the cancer in case of in the uh, four generation five generations uh, suffered with the same types of cancer at that moment also and uh, productive testing and adult onset condition these three re- these are reasons are involved in the reasons for the op- uh, opting uh, genetic counseling and the next one here the main aim of the genetic counseling is identify the possible of any genetic disorders to the baby also main aim what is the main aim of the genetic first generation suffered with the same type of disorder second generation is suffered with the same types of disorder so third generation also suffered with the same types of disorders so at that moment third generation there is no chance for the uh, suffered with the disorder genetic disorders at that moment means here possible of any genetic disorders to the baby so oh, that condition we are choose the um, uh, genetic counseling genetic disorders are caused by the uh, defect is a uh, parent parents gene especially how to form the genetic disorders parent genes or mother genes or either father genes some of the genetic disorders can identified through the testing so what are there one is the down syndrome sickle cell anemia tachycis uh, and spina bifida molecular dyspepsia and mental retardation these three are the these are these are all are the involved in the uh, involved in the identified through the uh, genetical disorders these disorders are occur in the especially baby so this is about the genetic counseling so genetic counseling what is the genetic counseling 
what are the steps are involved in there and what is the importance and which purpose we are choosing the genetic counseling and uh, what is the result and conclusion of the genetic counseling this is about our topic if you have any doubts from this topic tomorrow we will discuss